Ich war so ein Gang. Good day fellas, we have just arrived to Suvarnabhumi airport in Bangkok and after 2 hours we have to catch a domestic flight to Phuket. So we are going to make a vlog along the way to show you how to save time and transfer from international arrivals to domestic departures. So once you walk out from the terminal, you have to follow the signs that leads you to the immigration and baggage claim. And those are the blue ones while the yellow ones lead you to the connecting flight gates. We are following now the blue signs in order to pass the immigration and after that to claim our baggage since we have booked an international flight to Bangkok and after that another domestic flight from Bangkok to Phuket. Now how much time we need to walk from the arrivals gate to immigration depends a lot which gate was our arrivals. But in worst cases it will be around 10 to 12 minutes walk. And the blue signs will indicate how many meters you have still to walk in order to reach your destination. Here we have to turn left to arrivals. And it's been around 10 minute walk from our gate. So we had less than one hour to pass the immigration and claim our baggage. And the worst thing can be, if you reach in rush hour, it could take more than an hour to pass the immigration. After waiting in line for 10 minutes, we talked with the security woman that we had to catch a flight soon. So she helped us to pass the crowds and we were out quickly to claim our baggage. So here you have to check from which belt to claim your baggage and quickly to pick your stuff and walk to the nearest exit. Now from the baggage claim to the nearest exit, the walk won't take more than 5 minutes. So don't get distracted by the money exchange kiosk or any other thing. Just follow the exit sign to the main second floor. Once you go out, you are at the second floor arrival. We have to follow the signs now to go up to the fourth floor where are the international and domestic departures. Along the way also don't get distracted by the SIM cards and money exchange kiosk since you will have all of them once you check in again to your flight in the fourth floor. Now from here you can take the elevator or the electronic stairs, usually which is better since the elevators are almost busy all the time. So save time and head to the fourth floor. All we have to do is to go two floors up to be at the departures floor and it will take also around 5 minutes. So as you see, moving fast so that we won't miss our domestic flight to Phuket. Now once you are at the fourth floor, check the departures board, on which you have the international and domestic flights, and see which section you have to walk in order to check in to your domestic flight. So we are flying today with Thai Smile Airways and after checking we have to walk to section B in order to check our baggage and take our boarding passes. As you see fellas, it's been more than an hour since we have arrived to the airport and walking non-stop so my advice to you don't waste time if you have to catch a domestic flight.
And finally we were at section D. And we had nearly less than 20 minutes for check-in, but we did it. Okay. It is almost empty since almost all the passengers are checked in. So the check-in process was so fast. Here we had to remove our international flight stickers from our baggage so that we check in and that was an easy test. We have checked in and got our boarding passes. It was time now to walk to the domestic departures. It is so easy from here, a two minute walk and the sign shows us which way to walk. But we were so tired after 10 hours of international flight and more than one hour walk from the gate. Here the process is very fast. They will just check your boarding passes and after that you have to go down to the electronic stairs to the gates mentioned in your boarding pass. If you have time, you can enjoy some shopping in the duty free. And also there are many restaurants to pamper your stomach. And concerning money exchange and SIM cards, there are also many along the way to your gate. But we had only 10 minutes to our boarding time. So again we had to walk in a rush to our gates to catch our flight. It was a marathon to us. We again walked about 5 minutes to reach our gates and already the plane was boarding so we did not have time to sit and rest. So that was the end of our vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and it will be helpful for you to ease the catch of your domestic flight after an international arrival. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.